<clears throat> Hello dear friends, many will know me as Brother Sean, the Barefoot Franciscan Monk. I come to you today in response to clear guidance from my Master Jesus regarding the vision given to our hearts in 2006 for the Teo community and again in 2008 in April in front of the tomb of St. Francis to st set up an interfaith community of men and women to live a simple life as Franciscans in the world but not of it from their monastery without walls. Over the last few months my heart has become somewhat saddened by feelings that I'm sensing in my heart in prayer and I have asked Jesus for clarification and this morning <clears throat> I was guided instead of writing it in an email to do a YouTube video and share with you so that you can see my eyes and that you can sense the love of God coming to you through every word I share with you. Yes, I wrote everything down this morning, <clears throat> but I was guided now not to look at my notes, but to let Jesus speak to your heart. There is no agenda here, only love. The field of dreams, Katumi village, the Abbey of St. Francis of Peace and Compassion, that's already in existence in the etheric realms, the reason why it has been delayed is because the mighty companions who were invited by Jesus and Magdalena, many are procrastinating, many are engaging with their drama. Initially that you surrendered your hearts, but for some unknown reason to you and your God alone, you need to revisit in your prayer time what does it mean to be a community of light bringers of peace as an oblet or as a lay monastic in divine service following in the footsteps of Francis and Jesus the Barefoot Galilean what is this saying to you? but first let us pray Father, Mother, God I sit here in front of this webcam and I'm trusting in you to speak through my heart. And the persons who will listen to this recording or watch this recording will know that I am in service to you and not to ego. What do you understand community to mean in relation to an online virtual community at present? If we were a real community, living together, then there would be no excuse. We would meet up three times a day, morning, noon and evening, to recite the communions of our brother and sister scenes. But as we were guided last year to set up live stream, and on the 6th of February with Sister Diane here and Janet, Mother Earth was crying and asked us to pray for Jerusalem, the heart chakra of the world, and to hold the Abrahamic faith, Jew, Muslim and Christian, in prayer. You have to ask yourself, where are you as a member of the Teo community today? Where are you? In Ireland, I was groomed as a young boy by my granny who said, the family who prayed together stayed together. But Jesus spoke very clearly to my heart and I'm sharing it with you. And I share it with a heaviness because it's going to challenge you. And some of you may take your bat home. I hope not, but it's a direct message from our master and it's this those who say lord lord will not guarantee you entrance into the kingdom of god only those whose hearts are fixed 
on the mystical heart of God. Shouting, Lord, Lord, and I love Lord, and I love Francis, and I do this and I do that. No. The only persons that Jesus wants as part of the mighty companions in the Teo community are brothers and sisters who understand the true meaning of community. Yes, we all live busy lives. There are only a few, in fact three, apart from me, who work their life around the live stream prayer channel. Out of all of us, I find that so challenging. And I know from confident in, in confidential conversations that some of you are on Facebook as we're actually engaging in prayer and the vigil. What does that say about your understanding of divine service as a monastic or a noblet? And what about the excuses that we have to hear? Oh, I can't, I'm far too busy. I find that so sad. And you know what's been given to me? To revisit the Takers community I was guided by Jesus to do last year, which challenged, challenged members of my own family because it exposed an abscess of where they were defrauding my mother, embezzling her out of her savings. And they would not seek forgiveness. So what they did to shut me up, they exposed me on the internet as a scammer. And they said some pretty horrendous things about me, but I love them, I don't like them, I forgive them. And recently when my mother died, I wasn't told she had died until after the event. Yes, I was angry at my family, but I've moved on now. I've wiped the dust from my feet. I've left a blessing and I've moved on. In fact, I take heart from Sister Diane, who said when she had a party, she invited all her friends. And then she said to all the takers, now delete me from your book, from your mobile phone. My challenge to you today is from Jesus. Where are you in the field of dreams, the Abbey of St. Francis? Where is your heart? Where is your heart? Sister Joy, Sister Janet when she can, but Sister Joy is on four times a day, every day. Brother Tom when he can, but the majority make excuses. That's not good enough. So when the Abbey comes, hopefully it will be because we've rallied and become a people of prayer and support one another, not by email, but by coming together. And that's what I hope to do on Divine Guidance on the second Sunday of every month at three o'clock to have a Skype conference call with our oblates and our monastics. And we will soon know who is with the Teo vision. Please don't take this as a threat. It's not meant to be a threat. It's an invitation. In the monastery as a young monk, I met many monks who were takers. They shouldn't have been there, but there was no other life for them. They were too old. And they took many who were non-smokers, queued every Monday morning for the 200 fags, freely given. And then they'd sell them to the patients. Monastic life isn't a meal ticket, and being a member of this community is not a meal ticket to God. We have to demonstrate compassionate love, and the only way we can do that as an online community is to come together, if not every day for morning and evening prayer, then at least once a week. But that's not even happening. I haven't seen members on live stream for nearly a year. I haven't seen them here for well over a year. So what's that all about? My challenge to you today is from the heart of Jesus. If you are an active member and you want the vision of dreams to become a reality, then I'm afraid Jesus is going to come into your inner sanctum and move the dramas from your life. We can't afford to dally anymore. We must unite for it to become a reality. I pray that you will rally and make this reality a vision for the future.
God bless.